I know we've probably all heard the word unprecedented uh, way too many times in the last few weeks, but there really isn't much more of a relevant term to use when we consider what's happening in our communities, in our state, in our country, and even globally right now. Um, it's the first pandemic that we've experienced. Um, it's the first time that we see the church not being able to meet. It's the first time that we see entire communities needing to stay home, a rapid rise in unemployment, uh, mental health issues that uh, we just can't seem to even correct because we can't get to people. We, we can't be with them. Um, everything is at a distance right now. We're very thankful for people who have risen up for ministries, organizations, leadership, and all sectors of society here in our country and around the world that are problem solving and, and finding new tools and new ways to do things. It's the image of God in us that we are created to solve the problem, to lean heavily into God, to lean heavily into the example of Jesus, to listen intently to the Holy Spirit and find a way to bring the kingdom of heaven into the situation we're in. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your innovation, for what you're doing in your sphere of influence to bring the kingdom of heaven, to bring grace and hope into a really fragmented situation. The precedent for that leadership is really found in the book of Nehemiah because Nehemiah found himself in Jerusalem. It was in rubble. It had been destroyed. He had left the citadel of Susa. He had left a really comfortable place of service to come to Jerusalem because his brother had informed him that it was destroyed and that the city of God was not experiencing the hope of God. And he went, raised resources, found ways to gain the ability to see Jerusalem rebuilt, to see hope return. One of the things that he did that's really pointed and really important for us to see at this time is he went about, he walked about, he got off his horse in the city of Jerusalem and he actually walked in the rubble. He analyzed the situation. He got really good data. He saw what the situation really was and then he developed his plan. Uh, in leadership right now, it's really important that we understand the time in which we live. There is a lot of rubble. But as we see, Nehemiah didn't ask for new stone. Really, all he brought was timber, what was burned. It didn't exist anymore. He needed to bring it. But there was stone there, and it's really out of that rubble because of the plan that was developed, because he understood the situation. It was out of the rubble that the city of Jerusalem was rebuilt. I want to invite you to join in something that really examines the rubble right now, and that's the opportunity to check in as a leader, check in as a pastor, to use um, this tool for understanding our time that uh, Glue has put out, because I believe it's that Nehemiah moment of being able to understand the data, of understanding what's around us, being able to have all of the people that you give leadership to check in and say, hey, this is how I'm really doing. And so that we can truly have a plan like Nehemiah did to really understand our times, understand a strategy, and understand how we rebuild the presence of God in people's lives in this day. So thank you. Thank you for being in leadership at this time and for being a leader in the spirit of Nehemiah because God will use you to rebuild his presence his kingdom here in this world in this day.